Okay, today I'm going to show you how I create this flyer using Adobe Photoshop. The assets I'm using in this flyer are in a PSD and that PSD you can download from the description. Once you download it from the description, you can open it in Photoshop. Okay, so once you open it in Photoshop, you will be seeing something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to open the color fill here. So if you do not know how to create a color fill, you can. I'll show you. To do that, select here, select solid color and select black and then select OK. So it creates a color fill. OK, so let's delete that. So let's open the eyeball of this color fill. All right. OK, let's delete this layer mask first. OK, so then I'm going to open the eyeball of this. OK, and then Press Ctrl T to transform it and yeah, I'm going to place it like so. Scale it up a little bit. Okay, like so. Okay, then you can select this mask button to create a mask. Okay, to add layer mask. Okay, and then select this gradient. Select this click to edit the gradient and here this color stop should be black okay and this color stop should be opacity of 100 okay and this color stop opacity should be 0 and there shouldn't be any color stop between these okay okay unless these three there shouldn't be any color stop okay if you have any color stop Unless these three, you can select it and select delete button, okay? Let me show you. If you have this color stop right here, you can select it and select delete, okay? And so the this gradient, what this gradient does is, this gradient has a black color and then it reduces the opacity to zero. So it creates a black to transparent gradient and then select, okay? And then select the mask of this photo and drag this like so okay like that okay so then open the eyeball of this golden texture and change its blending mode to screen press ctrl d to transform and maybe place it like so. Press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And press Ctrl T to transform it. Right click, flip horizontal. Okay, now select both of them. Press Ctrl J to duplicate it again. Okay, now open the eyeball of this okay and press ctrl d to transform it and scale it up a little bit like so and place it like right here okay and then select add layer mask and grab the gradient tool select black transparent gradient and drag it like so okay I open the eyeball of this okay and then place it like right here okay vertically center this okay and press and hold hold button and drag it to right to it creates a duplicate of that and press ctrl t on the duplicated and right click choose split horizontal okay and then place it like right here Okay, place this like right here. Alright. And then open the eyeball of this DJ girl and place her like right here. Press Ctrl D to transform it and make it smaller. Like so. Okay, that'd be good. Now open the eyeball of this sound and place it underneath this girl and okay, 
place it underneath the girl and press Ctrl T to transform it and place it like right here okay all right okay I'm going to select this PNG and this PNG and select both of them press Ctrl G to group them okay okay and I'm going to create a new layer right below that group get the brush tool right click select foreground brush double click on the fill color foreground color and type ffd triple zero and then okay and then select orange color like so and then select okay increase the brush size by pressing right bracket key and yeah like so and create a glow of like that and change its blending mode to the screen and create more like so all right and then select this there and then create a new layer right above the group and get the brush tool and decrease the brush size and create another glow like so and then create a new layer right below the DJ girl and Glow like so and change its blending mode to as screen or linear dodge. Change this to as linear dodge. Okay. Now create a solid color right above all those layers and select orange color. Then select OK. Select color and decrease the opacity to 50 and place it underneath the DJ girl okay all right now open the eyeball of this layer place it above the DJ girl and change its blending mode to screen and place that glow in right here okay and select the add layer mask and Make sure the foreground color is black and right click to soft round brush and paint it this paint it on these harsh edges to remove that harsh edges okay like so all right now select the girl click levels and clip it to that girl now select this shadow point and drag it to left to darken this girl like so okay Now open the eyeball of this group and press Ctrl D to transform it and place it in here. Scale it up a little bit. Okay. Make it horizontally centered and go to filter. Okay. Okay. Then select group, right click, choose color to smart object and go to filter, choose blur, choose Gaussian blur. Increase the blur amount to something like 20 and then select OK. And then open the eyeball of this group that contains all the party info text and place it in here. Okay. So. Let's yes. make it center centered. Okay. Now I'm going to. So this rectangle, okay, I'll show you how to create that. So the first thing you are going to do is create a new rectangle like so. And, okay, so it changed its fill color to orange. And then grab the gradient tool, select the black to transparent gradient and create a new layer, right click. Create clipping mask to that rectangle and then drag it like so and drag it like so. Okay. Alright. So now I'm going to so now I'm going to create a new layer underneath that text group and get the gradient tool back to transparent gradient and create a gradient like so. 
quickly and drag it like so. All right. So now I'm going to change these text positions. Like I'm going to place this text in here, make them centered, select this and select this rectangle. Place it in here. Place this text and this text color to yellow, orange, like this yellow. And add group shadow to these two text as well. Go to right click. To do that, right click, choose blending options, choose drop shadow, reset it to default, and adjust these settings like so. What's right? Okay, and press and hold all button and drag this effect to this text as well. Okay, now open the eyeball of this and change its blending mode to the screen. Okay, now press Ctrl T and hold Shift and rotate it like so. 90 degrees and increase the size. Now create a mask, add layer mask and then select Brush tool, right click, choose soft ground brush and choose foreground color as the black and then select OK and increase the brush size by pressing right bracket key and paint in the middle. Okay, and then open the eyeball of this and press Ctrl T to transform it and all shift and rotate it like so. 90 degrees and then increase the size okay and then add layer mask and then get the brush tool and paint it like so in the middle and change its blending mode to the screen as well okay I'm going to place this to this text group and this in the top. Okay, like so. Okay, like so. And then I open the eyeball of this player and change its blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl D to transform it. And place it something like here. And scale it down. Now open the eyeball of this lights and press Ctrl D to transform it and rotate it like so. By holding Shift, you can rotate it minus 105. And then place it like right here. Yes. Then Zoom down, okay, and then press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Press Ctrl D to transform it. Right click, choose flip horizontal, and place it in here. Okay, to align both of them, select this and select duplicated one, and then select align into selection, and choose this. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to type the text to the do that. I'm going to select the text tool and chill out. And the font I'm using 
is this prestige signature script demo font and then I'm going to increase the font size of it to something like 50 that's too much also I'm gonna go with 100 okay then place that text press ctrl T to transform it yeah let's like so you can make it horizontally centered to do that select that text and select here align it to canvas select this okay and yeah we have we have okay now i'm going to right click on it go to the blending option choose color overlay and choose a white color and then choose outer glow reset it to default select this color go for orange color and then select ok and increase the spread and the size a little bit and then go for the drop shadow and reset it to default as well and then increase the spread and the distance and the size a little bit and opacity also ok and the outer glow size is too much I'm gonna decrease it a little bit and then select ok Okay, now place that text, press Ctrl D to transform it and place it a little bit like so. Now I'm going to grab the text tool again and type in like urban night and then press Ctrl A to select the all of the text and choose payback font if you do not have that font you can install it from the internet and then I'm going to change its size change its size to 100 okay now go for the properties by clicking here and then select the gap between of two text to 100 and the font size would be 100 as well uh, the 100 is too much Okay, let's minimize it to something like 90. Then let's select both of them and then select 90. Alright, that'll be good. And then choose the color to something like white. Okay, let's place that text underneath the girl. Okay, let's we have to find we have to find the girl first, okay? Alright. So now I'm going to right click on it, go to the blending options. Choose color overlay and choose a bit of like orange color. Okay, and then select okay. And I'm going to select bevel and emboss and reset it to default first and then choose inner bevel. Okay, it's and increase the depth 2000, increase the size a little bit like so to around 13, and the angle I'm gonna go with 120, and the altitude will be 30. For the glass contour, I'm gonna choose something like this, okay, and then for the screen, I'm gonna go with a bit of bright orange color and increase the opacity and for the shadow mode, I'm gonna go with something dark orange color, then select OK. Alright. Now I'm going to select drop shadow, reset it to default and increase the opacity a little bit more and the direction, distance and the spread and the size as well. So yeah, that'll be good. Then select OK. Alright, now I'm going to create a new layer underneath that text and get the brush tool. Press D to 
change the foreground color and the background color to black again and then decrease the brush size right click choose soft round brush and create some shadow like so okay now i'm going to duplicate this urban night text to do that press ctrl and j by selecting that layer and double click on the effect and untick this color overlay and the drop shadow and the bevel and emboss and select blending options and decrease the fill opacity to zero go for the stroke and reset it to default and choose position outside and then i'm going to select this stroke and increase its value to around something like let's say 27 and select the color and go for a, a bit of dark orange color then select ok and select bevel and emboss and reset it to default ok and choose style and choose stroke emboss ok and I'm going to change this contour a little bit by double clicking on it and let's decrease these points like so and uh, this point as well okay let's remove that select the point and drag it like so so it removes the point and now place it like so drag it this All right, now I'm going to select the outer globe and increase the spread of it and the size of it. What? Do something like that, 24 to 90, okay, that'll be good. Yeah, select the stroke again. Okay, and then select okay. Select the layer that we paint shadow underneath that urban night text and create some more shadows like so. Okay. Now open the eyeball of this flare. Okay, now select this flare. Press Ctrl J to duplicate it and place it on the top. Press Ctrl T to transform it. And yeah, place it like so. Okay. All right, press Ctrl J to duplicate it, press Ctrl T to transform it, place it like so, okay, maybe press Ctrl T and scale it down a little bit, create a new layer right above all the layers, get the brush tool, press and hold Alt and select this orange color. Okay, double click on the fill color and choose orange color and increase the brush size like so and decrease the brush size and choose soft round brush and add some glow in these lights. Okay, and then increase the brush size and add some glow in here and here as well and change the blending mode to something let's go with linear dodge okay so so now i'm going to erase some of the glow by pressing the by getting the eraser tool and erase this glow and this glow okay mm. 
now create a level adjustment layer and then press auto okay and the color lookup adjustment layer and tree strip okay now okay so that's how i create this file using adobe photoshop hope you learned something new see you